All right, um, so um, in this part, I'm going to be talking about some of the things that uh, they can probably ask you. Uh, you know, let's say you can, you can deal with this in production, they can also ask you during an interview, you know, what is a build kit, right? Uh, normally, um, Docker has a build engine, but build kit is more like a new feature. It's more experimental and it's, it brings more performance and also like better caching to your docker right um, and also it has some built-in uh, it has some plugin that allows you to actually uh, use remote uh, pull cache allow your docker to store cache in remote uh, registry as you can see this guy did that um, you can you can actually do that uh, right so if, if you look at this block it's an experimental feature remember this is at this point it's experimental right and um and it has uh this thing called buildx which allows you to use uh the the build kit and also all the experimental features and some of the experimental feature is it allows things like uh allow you to pull cash from a registry as you can see from here and also to push cash to a registry so and this is this is very important for things like um and uh, things like uh, multi-state build, right? So it's, uh, it's very good in that situation because it helps you with better caching management. You can see from the performance that I did here, the classic builder took like six minutes, but by using build kit, um, build kit right? You know, uh, it, it actually helps a lot with cache management. And one other advantage is that it also it also supports, uh, you know, parallel uh, build. So it's, it does what we call dependency resolution, whereby it's trying to figure out if the multi-state build depends on each other. If they do not, then it's going to actually build them in parallel. So it does those, those uh, kind of dependency, um, it does those dependency resolution. But for me though, the biggest thing is going to be, it allows, um, it helps, with better caching and also it allows the remote uh, caching. Um, so that is, for me, that's the biggest um, uh, takeaway. So let's say someone asks you that, all right, so tell me what view kit can do for you. It just help with like, you know, better caching, right? It helps like it's so thereby reducing things like uh, your view times. It allows it all, as you can see from here, it allows you to remotely store so remotely store uh, your cache into like a remote registry, for example, Docker, and also pull down caches, which allows faster deal. So that's, for me, that's the biggest um, advantage, right? And also, of course, the, the parallel build thing. And so, yeah, so if someone asks you, why should, why, you know, how do I improve a Docker build? Can use things like in you know, a build kit, you know, uh, to actually improve your caching system, right? Also supports other things, blah blah blah. Let's build X, right? For me, just these are some of the things I support, right? Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me also. If you're trying to use this as the point, you have to like indicate. First of all, you have to enable the feature. Uh, you can enable the feature with an environmental variable. Or you can also enable it uh, in your uh, Docker engine by default. Uh, there's a way to do that. You can figure that out. Um, yeah, and also to use it, you need to use what we call a front end. So let me put like a Docker container, right? So where are you? Come on, come on, come on. That's what I'm looking for. Do not disappoint me right now. All right, so come on, come on. I need you. I need you to show up. Where are you? Where are you? It's not coming on. All right. How about we do something? Docker uh, build queue. Yeah. How about we do that? You see, there's something called a front end, you know, that you can use that it's going to tell it. Look at this local front end. So it's going to indicate that this is going to be using, this is going to be an experimental, right? Now, this is going to be uh, an expert. We call it a front end, but you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about this right now. It's 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 just an indicator that this is going to be an ex, it's going to be some experimental features. For example, 
uh, things like um, secrets. Yeah, it's possible for you to store secrets also, to use secrets um, in Docker. But the weird thing about the secret is the fact that the secrets are going to show up in the, in the, uh, the build log, which is not a secret to me, right? It's also supporting like SSH, uh, which, yeah. I mean, if someone asks you, these are some of the features that has been supported, right? With the build announcement, build kit. All right. Um, yeah, so that's it.